I'm Sam Odden and with me is Jason Book and in this video we're going to be uh, talking about the upcoming Supergirl TV series which is going to be airing on CBS in the fall. So we've got some casting news uh, and that's mainly what we're going to be talking about but also just some general speculations about the series. So um, Jason, what are your reactions first of all to Melissa Benoist as Supergirl and then we have Callista Flockhart recently, uh, so that brings some kind of name recognition. She'll be playing Cat Grant. What are your reactions on those ones? Well, the the main character, um, I haven't really heard of this actress before playing Supergirl. Um, she doesn't have blonde hair. Hopefully they're going to change that. But um, if she's got the acting chops, they've had a lot of success in the Superman, you know, screen adaptations with picking someone who's kind of an unknown. So I think that's a good choice for that. Um, Callista Flockhart as Cat Grant seems really a strange choice for me. Um, she's shown she can act well, but uh, Cat Grant is supposed to be like a blonde bombshell kind of character. I remember in the old DC books. So this seems like they're really kind of, you know, casting it or going against character maybe. And that's what they're looking for. But definitely the first one's a better choice to me, I would say. Yeah, I'm thinking probably the studio is wanting close to Flockhart just to give that television experience with a lot of successful shows, you know, mm. in her belt. Right. Um, so that was probably more the overriding decision uh, than really fitting Cat Grant. But I, I think Callista Flockhart's acting will be okay. I, I agree yeah. with you that the look of Cat Grant will be different, but this will just yeah. be a new interpretation on the character. Mm -hmm. um, and with Melissa Benoist being not very well known and she's leading the show... I think CBS is trying to, you know, hedge their bets a little bit and try to bring some name recognition to it. Mm -hmm. um, now, Melissa Benoist, I'm like you. I, I was not familiar with her before she was uh, announced. The people that I've heard talk about her, though, and, and like sources that I trust, they say that she's actually pretty strong in terms of acting. She has range uh, in, in different things that she can do emotionally. Um, mm, good. So I, th I feel like they've probably made a pretty strong acting choice. Again, that's just me kind of trusting other people that I've heard. Makad Brooks as Jimmy Olsen. So this has been a, a subject of conversation. So this is a black actor playing Jimmy Olsen, who's typically kind of like redheaded, freckled um, type of character. So what are your thoughts on this for Jimmy? Um, you know, we talked about it once before, and I thought if they do this because it's going to make a different kind of story and make it something that really is in the name of story really makes Jimmy Olsen's character really have more depth to it, then I'm all for it. But if it's just a fact of, well, let's just change it to be different, then I think it's kind of a bad idea. But if they give Jimmy Olsen more of a kind of, maybe he had a rough upbringing and he really had to fight to go to you know university to become a photographer or something like that, I mean, then, then I'm all for that. I think it, it's got potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to look to see how they use it, and I'm definitely open to the idea. Um, I think it's it's nice to have Jimmy Olsen around just to get him into the DC television universe, to give yeah. him something to do. Because mm -hmm. um, so far he's kind of been neglected in the comics until Jeff Johns has recently tried to give him something going in the Superman title. Mm. So it'll be nice to just have some sort of version of Jimmy Olsen kind of going around. I also think in the film universe with Batman v Superman, I do think Jimmy Olsen will kind of come into that one. So we might start to be getting some more Jimmy Olsen, but it might be two like very different versions of Jimmy Olsen, which might be good to kind of have some separation. Yeah, I hope he comes two. into the movie universe because I like to see him in there. Yeah, I, I would expect so. So this will be nice to have two, two kind of different versions of him. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got Chyler Lee is going to play, I think it's a friend of uh, Supergirl. And then um, David Harewood has been cast as, get this, Hank Henshaw. So they're having Hank Henshaw as the uh, director, I think, uh, or he's involved somewhat in the Department of Extra Normal Operations. Hmm. So probably somebody from the government who is investigating, you know, supernatural beings or extraterrestrials. And so might be like on the trail of Supergirl. But, you know, that might be kind of a running tension in the show. But what do you think hmm. about having that uh, government influence, and what do you think about it being Hank Henshaw specifically? Well, there's a lot of potential using that character because as we know from those, you know, classic Death of Superman stories, um, you know, the cyborg Superman who he ends up becoming, there's a lot of potential there. And, you know, Supergirl doesn't really have a great rogues gallery, so this might be something cool they do to give her kind of somebody to kind of fight against behind the scenes and then eventually become a full villain as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her first rogue we've heard is the Lumberjack, which we talked about, I think, <laughs> on our first video about Supergirl, <laughs> um, which we're hoping might just be like 
something where she cuts her teeth and kind of gets started because otherwise he doesn't seem like that imposing of a Oh, yeah, it's a weird choice, yeah. Yeah, but Hank Henshaw, I think this could be good because you Mm -hmm. could have like a whole season of a story arc where Hank Henshaw is working to try to uncover Supergirl Mm -hmm. and then you could have another arc later where it's a completely different arc where he's maybe turning and he's now becoming something like Cyborg Superman. They might kind of put a different spin on it, but... Yeah, it's got a lot of potential, right? And then speaking of Superman, uh, a couple of bits of news about Superman. So one is that they put out a casting call for a body double that basically fit the description of Superman and people applying to be the body double were supposed to put in their subject line of their application, Superman. So people are (laughs) speculating that this might be Superman appearing in the pilot or in the TV show, but maybe just like, you know, an over the shoulder shot or just his silhouette or just something like that. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's the first piece of Superman news. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's cool. I think that um, because we have Man of Steel going concurrently and then Batman Superman, don't have someone in there trying to do an impression of Henry Cavill or anything like that or an older version. Just use them for, like you were saying, over-the-shoulder shots, silhouettes, maybe just, you know, to be in the background and touch on some cool iconic things. And that's really all you need, I think. Mm Mm-hmm. I wonder what the actual relationship is going to be. Mm. Um, like, are they going to be cousins or is Superman going to actually be the last son of Krypton? Because yeah. in the animated series, I'm going back a little ways now, mm-hmm. but DC Comics told the animated series, you cannot have Supergirl be from Krypton. They actually wanted Superman to literally be the last you know, person from Krypton. I remember so they that, made yeah. Supergirl from like a race that had broken off of Krypton and settled yeah. on a different planet, but they had basically the same powers. Yeah, it was uh, a slightly different. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and that was DC Comics making that request of the animated television universe. Mm. So I'm wondering, like in this one, if DC Comics has told CBS, you know, Supergirl, maybe she will be Kryptonian or maybe she'll be something else like Kryptonian or I'm not sure... And again, they aren't going to have to be like Man of Steel because a lot of people have speculated on Man of Steel that she will be from, you know, maybe that empty pod or something. Here they could Mm. do anything they wanted in terms of explaining uh, where she came from. So I think there's some like rumored descriptions out there on the Internet, but they're not confirmed. So Mm. if Superman is there, then that makes me wonder what's their relationship. Are they actually cousins? Are they just both Kryptonian or are they just two people with similar powers for some reason? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they're definitely going to play up the Kryptonian aspect, because why have Superman in it then, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, speaking of Superman again, we have <laughs> Dean Cain from the good old uh, <laughs> Lois and Clark. So, he has been confirmed as playing some sort of role in Supergirl, wow. as has Helen Slater, who was the Supergirl from, like, I think that the old movie that I never saw. Yeah. So, what do you think their plans are for Helen Slater and Dean Cain? Well, I'm hoping that it's kind of like when Christopher Reeve was on Smallville, uh, where they're just like playing completely different characters. If they're playing at all, kind of like Dean Cain playing an older version of Superman or something like that, it's going to be really weird. I don't think it'll work. Uh, But maybe he'll play like, you know, Perry White or something like an iconic DC character from Superman's supporting cast. That could work just as well. So hopefully it's something more along those lines. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll just be playing something and it'll just be like a wink to the audience that, hey, this is Dean Cain. Yeah. Um, but I kind of like that DC and Warner Brothers and now, you know, like CBS here are doing this uh, where they bring these kind of characters from previous generations. So like on The Flash, we have the old Flash is actually yeah, playing true. the dad of Barry yeah. Allen. It's pretty cool. And that was well done. Um, and like Lois Lane was in uh, Superman Returns as like Lex Luthor's uh, you know, like rich wife at the very beginning yeah, and stuff true. like that. I think it is kind of cool to, to make those connections for the fans to just kind of feel some of that nostalgia. Mm-hmm. But I think he's definitely not going to be Superman. At least that's where I would put my money that he'll yeah. just be some other character. Yeah. Let's hope not. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I wanted to check with you on was um, Greg Berlanti is producing this one. He also produces flash and arrow. He's open to crossovers between those three shows the CW is also open to crossovers, but Supergirl is going to be on CBS, which is kind of a different player. So right. what would you think about having it be a shared universe with the CW shows? And do you think that's feasible? Um, it's got potential and it could work, but I find that like 
even though the flash is more far-fetched with arrow it's more street level and they kind of fit together if you're going to have supergirl in there it really would kind of take it to a different level and if supergirl can coexist in this universe with these guys why wouldn't she have cleaned up like a lot of these villains already right so mm -hmm. i i i'd like to see it as maybe a one-off thing and then if it worked cool but then if it didn't work then they could just kind of jettison it you know yeah, I'm actually fine if they don't cross over. Like, I don't mind mm -hmm. having Supergirl, Girl, Supergirl just being its own show. Yeah. Um, if they do want to cross them, cross them over, I'm okay with that. I think it would have to be explained where, like, Supergirl is young and she is just starting out, like, in her heroics. So yeah. that's why she doesn't go over to these other cities and help clean up because she's, like, very modest in, in what she takes on. And she maybe is, like... She's not ready to just jump onto any crisis and try to save the day. She's maybe mm -hmm. like picking her spots and still figuring out her powers and stuff. Yeah, that could work actually. They might handle it that way, but I'm actually like fine either way. Like I don't have my heart set on having this like unified television universe. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fine if they're a little bit separate shows and I'll watch them each for what they have. So Yeah, I'm with you on that too. Cool. So we got a few more months for that. We'll probably start, you know, hopefully getting some images, uh, seeing some things as they're actually filming the pilot. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, sounds good.